Man, if you could see the filth that's just like off camera, literally one centimeter that way and like one centimeter that way, just you'd be mad, bro. Hey, what's up everyone? CV Modi here, back with another video. And today we're here with something that's fairly personal to my own setup, and that is triple monitor setups, much like what is over my shoulder there. Now I get asked all the time, is it worth setting up a triple monitor setup? What's it like running one? Is it worth the money of the monitors and the hardware? What kind of hardware should I get? So today we're gonna to be talking about exactly that and giving you some pros and cons to running a triple monitor setup. Now today's video is a bit more of a talking head style video, so if you wanna go ahead and minimize this and save your pixels for doing whatever else, go ahead and do that. But today we're going over some pros and cons to running a triple monitor setup like what I have behind me. So for me, I've been running triple monitor setups for about the past, I'd say five to six years. I can't exactly remember which year I got them, but it was about five to six years ago and I've been running them ever since. This is actually the second, I believe, set of monitors that I do have. So I've run a couple setups here. And for all of them, I've experienced roughly the same sort of experience, so I guess it is relatively similar across all the setups. So kicking things off with some positives, let's jump into some pros to owning a triple monitor setup. First and most obvious thing is that screen real estate. Even though the monitors behind me are only 23 inches, 23 times three is a massive wide experience. And being able to break up your workspace is really, really awesome. Whilst ultra wides and curved monitors have definitely come into popularity recently, nothing beats having two or three separate monitors to actually break up the program you're working on. And usually two programs respond way better to multiple monitors than they do to just one larger monitor. For example, for me behind me, I could have three separate web browsers, two separate web browsers and a word processor, or three different tasks going on at the exact same time, and I wouldn't have to worry about screen quadrating or anything like that. It would be simple, drag the program to a different monitor and boom, it's on a different window. Now this also too helps with the second thing and that is productivity. Since setting up a triple monitor setup, my productivity has gone through the roof and I've been able to do things like watch tutorials and following along a lot better and overall just get things done way faster and way easier because again, there is just more screens to do so. Take video editing for example. If we take a look at my workspace whilst editing up a video, we can see that over here on the left side of the screen, I go ahead and have all the raw footage. In the center here, I go ahead and actually put everything that I'm working on. So the timeline of this video is like right down there where I'm editing up this video. And then over to the uh, right hand side of the screen, we'll go ahead and actually see all my audio and video scopes so I can have everything across my entire workspace and not need to worry about closing windows, opening windows, moving into different workspaces. My workflow is just so much more easier when it comes to video editing. Same thing on the photo editing side and just about every other type of editing helps so much by having three separate displays. Now maybe you aren't a video editor and maybe you are more of just a writer or something like that. If you do write scripts or any sort of writing in general, three monitors are also to a massive help. Not only can you have your tasks that you're writing in Word up on the center screen, you could also too have your two peripheral screens going ahead and giving you extra information, maybe research documents, notes or anything like that. So having three screens is awesome for productivity. Now you may be a gamer and three screens are also too gonna be awesome there. If you love your simulation games, racing, or flight sims, they're going to be absolutely awesome on a triple monitor setup. Personally, I've played a couple flight sims and a couple racing simulators, and I have to say, really awesome experience. Whilst it isn't like being in a real race car or in a real aeroplane, it is still very, very close and beats having a single monitor as your FOV is so much wider. Also too, if you are a gamer, it may also too be a lot cheaper option to getting a higher FOV than picking up something like a VR headset. Whilst a setup like this this won't take you up the entire field of view, it will take up a large portion of it, so it kind of gives you a very immersive in experience. And if you grab yourself a new monitor with very thin bezels, you're gonna have a really awesome time. And finally, a really good pro to all this is just how awesome it looks. What's better than having three screens on a desk? Well, the answer is not really that much. Unless you have a really ball and single setup, triple monitors just look the part. But positives are all well and good there 
there are definitely some major downsides to running a triple monitor setup. First and foremost is space. If you don't have a lot of it, you're not running a triple monitor setup. For example, this desk that I'm sitting in front of is actually a two and a half meter desk and that barely fits the three monitors and my desktop PC on the desk. And that's it for the desk. I can't fit anything else there if I want to have a laptop on my desk that's going to be taking up screen space and overall my desk is completely wiped out by a single monitor setup. So if you don't have a lot of space, a triple monitor setup is going to be very, very difficult to run. Also too, they're really finicky to not only set up but also to maintain. I've had experiences in the past where Nvidia's released a new driver set for my video cards, I install them and boom, the entire triple monitor setup is broken and I've even had it as bad as where it was broken and I couldn't even run any games even if I had it only a single monitor plugged in. So I do have to say, it does take a lot of tinkering to get it set up correctly and working properly, but once it does, it is really, really rewarding. Now speaking of your computer, it definitely also too takes a toll on your system. Remembering the fact that now you have to drive three times the resolution of what you had with a single monitor. Whether you're running three 4K displays, three 2K displays, or three 1080p displays, whatever it happens to be, it's going to be three times harder to run because, well, there are three displays. And this will definitely make a real noticeable difference in games as they are super, super noticeable. And definitely two video cards is almost a must. However, some top tier cards like the Titan XP Gen 2 and also two things like the 1080 Ti are finally cards that we're getting on the market now that supports triple monitor setups without the real need for multiple cards. But honestly, at the end of the day, you're going to be needing to run at least two video cards, adding a ton of cost to your setup. And that also too brings us into the next point, and that is cost. Unfortunately, if you are running an Nvidia setup or AMD setup, usually you want to run three of the identical monitors, meaning they're gonna be three times more expensive. And if you don't want a garbage experience, you're gonna to have to buy three moderate to expensive monitors, basically timesing your total cost of monitors by three, kind of obvious thing there. For me, I spent about $150 on each of these monitors, and honestly, I really wish I did spend more. Unfortunately, I did buy my monitors at a time where TN panels were kind of the norm and IPS wasn't really a thing, so for me, an IPS monitor would be really great, but if you just take a look at some decently spec monitor prices, you could be spending well over a couple thousand dollars on screens before you even factor in anything like your desktop PC to actually run it. And this pricing also too affects your video card purchase. If you live here in Australia and you want to buy one top tier video card, you're looking at around the $1,200 to $1,300 price point. If you're running triple monitor setups, you're going to be doubling that to well over $2,000 on just the video cards alone, not including the CPU you'll need to run to actually not bottleneck your video cards, the better motherboard you're going to have to run to support the multiple video cards, and the costs just keep going up and up. Power consumption is also too one thing you'll want to keep an eye on, as not only are you running more video cards in a higher end system, but the monitors themselves will be drawing more power. So if you are in an area where electricity is relatively expensive, you may want to keep an eye on the power consumption of the monitors and the PC running them. And then the final problem that you may run into in the final con of a triple monitor setup, other than the rest that we've just mentioned, is application support. Whilst a lot of games do run just fine with triple monitor setups, and a lot of applications in general do run just fine with triple monitor setups, there are some more pro apps and some more indie games that just completely freak out with triple monitor setups to the point where you actually have to reach around to the back of your computer and unplug the monitors because they just freak out that much. Not as much with pro apps, but definitely with some games you can get to the point where they'll just crash completely until you unplug the monitors. Sometimes Sometimes this can be worked around with software like SoftTH3, but at the end of the day you do need to keep in mind that you are introducing sort of out of spec experiences that aren't really coded for. A lot of programmers do build their games and their applications for a single monitor experience, so adding three of them brings you into that category of out of kind of spec applications. But at the end of the day, would I recommend a triple monitor setup? Absolutely yes. Running one for the past sort of five or so years, I have to say it has been an epic experience and going back to a single monitor or even just a dual monitor setup is absolutely difficult. Even ultra wides are still hard to get used to again because just having dedicated screens to separate your tasks is something that I personally really do like. 
So TLDR time of this video, would I recommend a triple monitor setup? Absolutely yes, if you have the space, have the horsepower and have the cash, they are really awesome for productivity, getting things done and a really awesome gaming experience. Not to mention they just absolutely look really really cool. There are definitely some drawbacks such as software being an issue, hardware being an issue, cost being a major factor and also to little finicky setup processes that just get broken every time there is a video card update. But again, at the end of the day, I would totally recommend it just by how much it can offer you in the gaming department, the pro apps department and the fact that you can get just so much more done with the same desk space. With that being said guys, that's about it for this video, sort of giving my pros and cons to a triple monitor setup that I've found running them over the past sort of five or so years. Also too guys, let me know down in the comment sections what you think of triple monitor setups. Do you run one? Do you not run one? Why or why not? Also too, if you think I'm Miss something in this video again let me know down in the comment section I'll be really interested to see what you guys have to say otherwise guys thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one